Welcome to Yak Anglers Inside and Out. I'm your host, Jamison Redding. I'm here with Mark Patterson from North Carolina Kayak Fishing Association, and we're about to launch and hit some selfish for the Selfish Smackdown here in Pompano Beach, Florida. So stick around, it's gonna be a good show. Cold in North Carolina right now, dead middle of winter. I can't take it anymore. I'm out of here. I'm gonna head south. I'm gonna hook up with one of my fellow friends, Mark Patterson, president of North Carolina Kayak Fishing Association. And we're gonna hit the selfish smackdown put on by extreme kayak anglers. Wish us luck. Hopefully, we'll get into some selfish. I'm ready for some warm weather. Mark, we've been talking about doing this trip for a while now, and uh, we decided to get out of the cold, wet weather up we were having in the middle of the winter and come down here. What is it, 80 degrees today? The sun's shining, it's blue beautiful. skies. It's beautiful. I just called my wife and told her we're moving. And when I was talking about coming, I said, hey, you know what? I'm driving down. I got this trailer, but for some reason, you had to fly. Like, tell me, so how was the flight? Was it nice? Because I drove all day yesterday. <laughs> I know you drove about 14 hours. But oh, it was ridiculous. Well, you know... It was hard on me because I got up this morning and had a bowl of oatmeal, drove about 45 minutes to the airport, uh, had a bagel, and the next thing I knew I fell asleep on the plane and I woke up and you were here to pick me up. I mean, it worked out. I mean, I highly recommend these type of trips for both of us. This is, this I, is working out great. I just hope you can get my kayak back home. I think I'm going to sell back. it to pay for the gas <laughs> to get home, I think, is what's going to happen. After finally getting settled in, it was time to head over to the brews room for the captain's meeting. And when we pulled in the parking lot, you could tell this place was packed. People were jammed inside, they were standing outside shoulder to shoulder, and you could just feel the excitement and anticipation in the atmosphere. We took a few minutes to walk around and check out all the prizes that were laid out. One of my favorite things was the big selfish mount that was going to go to the first person to hook up and land a selfish at the event. Not to mention GoPro cameras, Costa Del Mar sunglasses, Yeti tumblers, and all kinds of other prizes. And who can forget about that $3,000 check that was going to go to first place. Then we got a chance to catch up with the man behind it all. So I'm here with Joe Hector, who is the founder of Extreme Kayak Fishing and the Selfish Smackdown. Tell us a little bit about how you got into kayak fishing, Joe. Uh, I started back in uh, early 2006. Um, I started going offshore. I'm from New Jersey. I moved to South Florida uh, probably about 10 years ago, and uh, I, I wanted to fish. I wanted to um, get offshore, and I didn't have a boat. I didn't have the money to have a boat. And I started fishing off piers, I started fishing off the beach, and it wasn't enough for me. I bought myself a kayak, and uh, I started going offshore, and that's awesome. that's how it all started, man. I got my first uh, big bull, uh, Mahi Mahi, it was about 30 pounds, and I was hooked ever since. You, you've been doing self, or you've been doing tournaments for a while. Yeah. Extreme yeah. tournaments for, for Wahoo, for Dolphin, right. for Kings, right? We, we started uh, four years ago. Um, 2011 was our first tournament. Oh my God, that might be five. Uh, but yeah, we've been yeah. doing this for a long wow. time. Um, and uh, we started our first sailfish tournament, sailfish only, um, last year. Okay. And um, I, you know, we went into this uh, really slow. So we, we started with the meat tournaments, uh, getting the kingfish, yeah. getting the wahoo, getting this, you know, getting the mahi mahi. But there's nothing like billfish. Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, everybody loves billfish. Every angler loves billfish, uh, marlin, whatever. Um, so we're in the capital of the world for sailfish. So yeah. I figured, you know, why not put on a sailfish tournament? We did it last year. We had the men from Oklahoma. Uh, they stole the show. They beat the locals, and um, 
since then it's been been rising. It's been great. The next morning we make our way out to the beach and this place is already packed. There's tons of people already in the water. A lot of people are still on the beach kind of making the final touches on their kayak before they launch. And that's what we had to do. A little bit more rigging and we were ready to go. We made our way out to the bait boat, we got our bait, and then it was time to head out and start trolling. I start trolling along, the wind picks up, and before you know it, I see a selfish jump right off my bow. I hear on the radio, hooked up and I look over and I see John fighting this fish. So I reach for my camera as quick as I can and I try to catch the action. Meanwhile, while I'm following this fish, the second selfish of the day was hooked up moments later, so now it's a race to see who's going to land their fish first. After the selfish release safely, I hear over the radio that one of the help boats actually has burritos from a local restaurant out on the water. They're handing these things out right over the boat. We troll for a few more hours and then it's time to head in. tell you what that was a long day on the water it's the end of day one I didn't have any luck Mark didn't have any luck but there were three selfish caught and then a couple more lost also a dolphin was caught you know they're out there so we're gonna give it a try tomorrow we're gonna load up we're tired we're exhausted we stayed up late rigging last night so we're gonna get out of here eat some pizza get some rest come back do it again right now in first place you've got John Menarchik in second Robinson Rodriguez and Joe Kratz is in third right now, so it's going to be close tomorrow. It could be anybody's game. All you need is two selfish to win this thing. So, all right, we're here on day two, two. of the selfish smackdown. We didn't have a whole lot of luck yesterday, as we said, but we got a better game plan. Much better game plan because it can't get any worse. It can't get any worse <laughs> unless we go in the water and lose something. So, but, knocking wood on that, but no problems. Hopefully, uh, the winds changed a little bit. It's a new day. We're going to go after it. We're, like I say, we got nothing to lose. Three guys hooked up, uh, five hooked up, three got fish in. So we got to catch two today. Two. That's our goal. Two. Two fish. I, I, I'd be happy with one at this point. I'd be happy with a dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> a fish. A fish. A fish. All right, wish us luck. <laughs>
last day here on the water, I've had the same luck as yesterday. It's been a long day. I've paddled I don't know how many miles. There's tacos on the beach. I want to head in and check that out. But I want to say that this has been a great event. It's been a lot of fun so far, just hanging out with new people and meeting you know, other kayak fishermen. Everywhere I've traveled, kayak fishermen, it's like a brotherhood. They just take you in. They tell you, you know, if you're not familiar with it, they'll help you learn the area. And you can go out and try to catch fish with them. And this tournament has been a great experience too because this is my first time uh, really fishing this area. So being able to come out here with the help boat out on the water, you don't have to be too worried about it as long as you got your VHF, you can contact them. Um, also, you got a bait boat running around and they're bringing you food. So what more can you ask for? Come on down to Florida and fish one of these extreme tide fishing tournaments. The Selfish Smackdown has been a blast and uh, I can't wait to do it again and get another shot at one of those selfish. It was time to head to the weigh-in and Come see what up. the results were. Todd Johnson from Viking Kayak has won this awesome trophy from Global Fish Mounts. His uh, mahi was 14.1 pounds, which is a very nice fish. And he also wins this awesome check from Yak Attack for $500. Let's go for round of applause. So Joe Cratch wins a big check for 500 bucks from Nautical Ventures. Let's give him a round of applause. He actually hooked his sailfish by the tail. George Bustamani was there. <laughs> he fought it for like two hours. For second place, Rob Rodriguez coming up. Rob, hold up your check for $1,000 from Nautical Ventures. You know what else you win with the first selfish spot? You win this awesome mount from Global Fish Mounts. That, you better grab it. Yep. For the first selfish caught in the Extreme Kayak Fishing Tournament Series. And he wins a fat check for $3,000 for Turbo USA. Alright John, so I saw you out there catch this fish. So I'm paddling along and all of a sudden you're hooked up, I hear you on the radio, and the fish jumps right in front of me. So tell me about your experience out on the water. Dude, I mean, I spent three months looking this up, researching everything, thinking about getting out there, catching the fish, and the moment I see the fish's head jump out of the water, completely awestruck, forget everything I'm thinking about, and I'm just thinking, oh my God, like, what do I do? <laughs> Insane. You don't want to lose the fish, right? Exactly. Like, so, Is this your first time fishing for sailfish? First, first sailfish, first time offshore, east coast. I'm a total noob to everything. So how long did you fight the fish for? Probably took about 20 minutes to actually leader it, but then he took off again and it was another 20 minutes to get him back to the boat. So, so 40 minutes total to get your hands on the fish. To get an actual hand on that bill. Well, I saw some pictures, some half in, half out of the water shots. Yeah. It looked awesome, dude. Like any advice or anything that you learned while you were doing this that you could recommend a new person coming? Dude, I mean, get out there, do your research, get on the internet, uh, Instagram, all those things. Actually, all the guys in this tournament are awesome. Hit anybody up that you want. They'll give you the information to help you. I mean, the idea is to catch fish, so they're not going to hold the secrets back. So yeah. just get out and learn, man. Just try. That's exactly what I noticed. Like, they were so welcoming. And just anything you needed to know, they were there for you. So, Amazing. Like Great tournament, great time. You should check it out. Well, congratulations. You're $3,000 richer, and you're in the Hall of Fame. Now. Can't ask for more, right? Second selfish smackdown, and you're on there, man. I love it. It's awesome. After the results were over, we stuck around and had a great time hanging out with some new friends. Until next time, this is Jameson Redding with Yak Anglers Inside and Out. Yak Anglers Inside and Out is brought to you by Bending Branches, Pretty Smart Paddles. Yak Attack, rigging the dream. Ram Mount, innovative mounting systems proudly made in the USA. Jackson Kayak, we make fun. And Nakwa Adventure Gear, lighting the way.